Two bombs today, double left field. Do you feel like when you're really in rhythm, you're taking the ball the other way? Yeah, yeah, that's um, usually my approach. Um, kind of stay on more balls when you're going that way, so that's what I kind of try to do. And when you get the good pitch to hit, that's what happens. You took a, I think it was a change up on the first home run and the fastball on the mm -hmm. second. Just do you, do you have one that you like more than the other, or are they just both the same? Uh, when they're in the zone, pitches to hit, it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, like you said, when I'm in rhythm, it's, that's just good pitches to hit. And specifically, like of the two home runs, do you feel like you like look back and you're gonna be like, oh, that one was like the better of the two, or is it just it doesn't really uh, matter? They all count for the same. <laughs> the end of the day, yeah. What do, you, what do you even feel in like with your with this newish infield? We're having Karate at third and Cooney at short. Just how do you feel like that's been working the last couple um, games? Oh, it's awesome. Um, these guys are all sponges. Um, Carter took on that role at third and has been locking it down. Ryan came in; has just been unbelievable to start the year, and you know he's 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 a real he's going to be really good. Um, so yeah, it's it's great to great to see those guys. You've, you've been on a roll the last two weeks, but. You know, flashback like a week and a half ago, you didn't start in the final game against uh, UCSB or didn't start against Grand Canyon. How do you, what did you do to kind of get yourself back on track? And then you know, now you're out here hitting five home runs in the last two weeks. Um, nothing really changed. Uh, just stuck to my approach. You know, looked for good pitches to hit and put good swings on balls. What's it, what's it like to be in this type of zone? Um, it's nice. Um, you know, it's just easy. Um, kind of learn as you get older just uh, that's how you got to stay all times no matter if you're going good or going bad so yeah I asked this to answer but what does it mean for you guys to you know you get beat by 12 runs in game one but you win the final two of the series just what does that mean for you guys you know confidence wise and the dugout just going forward in the next week yeah um, since I've got here we've always had resilient squads and we displayed that this weekend um, and so you know, it is what it is. Every day is a new day. So we go out and play, you know, nothing. We're not wor worried about last night. We're not worried about tomorrow. It's uh, every game we're worried about. It's the game we're happening, ha that's happening today. What's the what's the dugout like in that eighth inning where, you know, you, uh, you obviously, you come home with some celebration, then Anson and Cooney go out and hit another sh solo shots. What's that yeah, like? Yeah, uh, the vibes are great. Um, you know, smiles all around. It's, it's a good time. You personally are closing in on, closing in on the home run home run record for this school. Is that something that's on your mind consistently, or something that's just? Um, I seat? could care less. I don't really pay attention to any of that stuff. How much do you enjoy having your head in that football helmet? Oh, it's great. You know, uh, <laughs> brings me back to the old days. Yeah.